these islands that are so far away that never, never have human beings on them. Um, there's an isolated set of islands south of New Zealand and even south of Stewart Island called the Snares. And just the name alone conjures up ideas of, of clipper ships and monster storms. I, what a great name, the Snares. And, and I, as I approached, I wasn't I was going to be too far to see them, and then I got hit by an easterly wind. So the wind was right on the nose, there was nothing I could do, and the weather wasn't too bad. So boom, I took a tack straight over and I got to sail in between the two sets of islands. And there's seals, big kelp beds. Uh, I didn't see any whales that day, but tons of albatrosses and they're these just craggy rocks and once you get close enough to them you see the green you see the white from all the, the bird droppings and you smell the smell and, and you just know that this is prehistoric earth and it was I, I still I get goosebumps just thinking about it now and I just remember being down there thinking you know how long has it been since somebody even laid their eyes on this little island and here I am. I almost felt like I was cruising just in the, the BVI for the day and I was just sailing in. Not, I couldn't go too far in between because I didn't have a chart um, that showed all the depths there, but I knew, I knew it was deep in between them all, so I was able to get relatively close. Uh, but that was, that was one of the highlights. And I know I, I'll never go back there and I don't know another human being that's even seen them. Um, you know, and it, it's just, it's so amazing to see a place like that on our planet um, because you think of you know, the whole planet's explored and everything but there's still these little little spots that that almost never get visited and, and that feels really special to me.